Hi, I'm Dave from Garmin. Today, I'm gonna to cover some of our lower cost avionics solutions. I do understand how difficult it can be to decide on what to do when it comes to the panel. I actually bought my first airplane a couple years ago and I actually go through the same thing even being the Garmin guy. You know, what do I keep? What do I upgrade? When something fails, do I replace it? Do I fix it? Now, if I had an unlimited budget, it would be easy, but my wife says I don't. So hopefully some of our newer solutions do make it easier, especially when you start having issues with your older equipment. First, let's look at the G5. Now it comes in two configurations. It can be an attitude indicator that replaces your primary attitude indicator you have in the airplane today, or it can be a DG directional gyro slash HSI. So first, let's look at the attitude indicator. Again, as I mentioned, this can be your primary attitude indicator and it'll replace the existing one in the panel. Now, a few of the advantages are that this no longer uses a vacuum system. This is all solid state, self-contained AHAR system, attitude heading reference system, kind of the magic behind it. It also comes with a backup battery that'll give you about four hours of battery life that's probably more fuel than you actually have in your airplane. So this thing could keep on going if you had a total electrical failure. The nice thing with the G5 is that it actually fits an existing three and one eighth inch round cutout. So you don't have to modify your existing panel. Although we do have a flush mount option. Now let's take a look at the attitude indicator first. If you look at it, you'll notice it's besides being primarily attitude, you've got airspeed tape down the side and you have an altitimeter down the other side. You'll still keep your existing ones, but this way, if you want to, you can just focus on one display. Another nice thing with having the altitude tape, a lot of us didn't have an altitude pre-selector in our system. So now if they say climb and maintain 4,500, I don't have to try to remember that. I can go here to altitude and actually select it to my 4,500. And it'll put it up here and mark it and it's gonna bug it. Now let's look at our replacement DG HSI. If you replace both systems on the G5, you may actually no longer need your vacuum system in the aircraft. But we're gonna concentrate down here right now. So this has a lot of advantages to your existing directional gyro. This does have a remote magnetic unit, so you no longer have to slave the unit to your heading, and you're not gonna deal with precession and having to always update your heading. Another nice thing is you have a heading bug that'll slave. And if you have a third-party autopilot, this with a connector we call a GAD29B can actually slave to many of the existing autopilots in, the, uh, in your aircraft. Another feature I guarantee you didn't have in your previous display is backup attitude. If you did lose another G5 or your primary attitude display, come down here, select PFD, and that becomes a backup display. Then I can push it again and revert back to being my DG or HSI page. So that's if you do not have it interfaced with a Garmin GNS 430, 530, GTN 750, or 650. If you do, this now becomes a full-fledged HSI unit. So let me go ahead and put a trip in here. Let's go direct somewhere here. We can go direct down to, uh, to Wichita, Kansas. That sounds like a fun place to go. Now I've got an HSI needle. If you have not flown with an HSI, you want to. And it's basically putting your CDI and OBS inside your compass. If you're flying IFR, it makes life a whole lot easier. Probably the most incredible thing about this HSI is if you even went back 20 years ago, you probably spent four times as much for a mechanical HSI compared to what this one is. And you had a fraction of the features. So one thing nice with the uh, electronic HSI, it gives you auto course slewing. What that means is, is we're flying along and we get a leg change, it's automatically gonna spin the needle to our next course as we transition those, those waypoints. Another feature you get in this is what we call roll steering. So if you have a third-party autopilot, 
What roll steering will do is smooth that transition as you sequence through the waypoint. So you get a nice turn on to the next leg. This is especially important when you're doing the GPS approaches and it transitions you at 90 degree turns. You get beautiful intercepts with it. And that's all included in this HSI. Some other things you didn't have before are differences in colors depending on what's driving the needle. Right now, we have our magenta needles, or I call pink needles, or on pink needles. But if we're sitting there doing an ILS or a VOR nav, it will switch over to a green needle. Then when you're back on GPS, it goes back to the pink or magenta needles on the system. The G5s are a great value. To learn more, contact your authorized dealer or visit us online at Garmin.com. Thanks for watching.